Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end crypto. In this video, I'm going to explain what is Alpaca Finance. But before I get into it, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe the channel. Alpaca is a standout for their friendliness and ability to thrive in high altitudes. Alpaca Finance has modeled its platform around these qualities by offering a user-friendly way to earn higher yields through leverage. DeFi users always looking to maximize their returns. Alpaca, unlike most other DeFi lending protocols allows users to borrow more than they put out in collateral. These under-collateralized loans increase APYs for both lenders and borrowers, albeit with added risk. Yield farmers use Alpica's under-collateralized liquidity as leverage, multiplying their positions and thus their prospective returns. Alpica's lenders, who provide the aforementioned liquidity to single-sided asset pools, benefit from higher pool utilization and thus higher lending APYs. Additionally, lenders can increase capital efficiency by borrowing against their interest-bearing tokens to mint Alpica USD. Farmers also have the option to customize exposure and risk or use automated vaults to access market-neutral strategies without having to continuously monitor and manage positions. Aside from the platform's direct impact on users, Alpica is amplifying the liquidity of DeFi as a whole by increasing market debt while maintaining safety across its suit. Back Ground. After the spike in the Ethereum gas fees in early 2021, a lot of value moved over to the BNB chain. The surge in users and the absence of on-chain leveraged yield farming presented an opportunity. In late February 2021, the Alpica finance team opened lending vaults and fair launched the Alpica governance token. About one month later, after running audits and attracting sufficient liquidity, they ruled out leveraged yield farming. Over the following year, Alpica expanded in several areas. It launched more vaults for lending assets, integrated additional pools for leveraged YAL farming, and added features around user protection. Along with expanding to Funtum, the protocol released decentralized governance, an NFT collection, an over-collateralized stable, and automated vault. The ecosystem. At a very high level, Alpica Finance mirrors a common two-sided market with lenders and borrowers zooming in. However, there are a number of features and products working with and around this process to bolster capital efficiency, safety, and ease of use. Lending. Alpica allows lenders to earn interest by depositing assets into their prospective vaults. These assets are then offered to leverage yield farmers as under-collateralized loans that can only be used on the platform. In in exchange for supplying assets, lenders receive a corresponding balance of pool's specific interest-bearing tokens, EAP token. Alpica uses these EAP tokens to track deposited fans and their accurate interest, which is expressed by the EAP token's exchange rate. For example, when Alpica launched leveraged YAL farming, one EAP BNB could be exchanged for one BNB. Over the following year, the lending APY averaged 11 person. Thus, by the end of the first year, 1 EAP BNB equal 1.11 BNB. To increase yields on EAP tokens, lenders can stake them to earn Alpica rewards. If they change their mind, lenders can always unstake their EAP tokens and then swap them for the respective base token, as long as there is sufficient pool liquidity. Alpica USD AUSD is a fork of MakerDAO, unlike DAI is decentralized over collateralized stablecoin. It is currently backed by BNB, USDT, and BUSD. Lenders can collateralize their APE tokens or base tokens to permissionlessly mint or borrow AUSD, unlike many other over collateralized stablecoins. And this system actually unlocks capital efficiency by allowing lenders to continue to earn interest on their collateral. The stability fee, annual interest rate, for AUSD starts at 2% for the most collateral types. Over time, it will be adjusted to stabilize the pig by incentivizing users to create or close AUSD positions. Another pigging mechanism is the internal stable swap model, which allows attributors to buy or sell AUSD for BUSD at 1 1 rate with low fees. There's also an AUSD pig insurance fan, which acts as a buy bag bag stop in case AUSD 
however, depegs significantly. If an AUSD borrower's collateral falls below the liquidation price, Alpica will generally liquidate their position. This means that rather than using all of the borrower's collateral, Alpica only liquidates the amount needed to bring the position back to health. As of this mentioned point, there isn't much demand for AUSD in the wider DeFi ecosystem. Thus, despite the stabilization mechanisms outlined above, it is trading under its pig. NFTs Alpaca uses its fairly sizable NFT collection to reward participation and governance votes, AMS, grazing ranges, etc. In early November, Alpaca launched Alpies, a 10,000-piece NFT collection on both the BNB chain and ETH. Alpies will be used as heroes in Alpaca's upcoming play-to-earn game. So this was a quick overview of Alpaca Finance. If you liked this video, consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon and liking this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next Simply Explain the more videos.